to the Plato Paradigm, a paradigm shift in reading Plato's dialogues. Episode 19, Hippias Minor 371D to 372C. It's time to see how the double trap that Socrates has set for Hippias actually works. He has proved that Achilles is a crafty liar. He lies using craft, techne. And it is up to Hippias to deny this before he's refuted. This looks simple enough. Hippias just has to show that Achilles says different things on different occasions because the circumstances have changed. That doesn't mean he lies. So this is what he says. Ukun emoi gedoke o Socrates alakai auta tauta upoi unoias anapestes proston aianta alla e pene proston odisea. Hode odisius hata le thelege epibulusas aelege kai hosa psutetai posautos. He doesn't seem to me, that is to be lying, O Socrates, but even in these things, having been persuaded by goodwill, he says things to Ajax other than the things he said to Odysseus. But Odysseus, the things he says which are true, he always says on purpose, and the same with the things he lies about. We have to remember that the verb pseudomai only means to tell what is not true, whether it's intentional lying or simply making a mistake. And this is why Hippias doesn't say that Achilles says false things, because he does say that he's going to go home, but then he doesn't. What he does say is that he says other things because he's been persuaded by goodwill. And he emphasizes that Odysseus is always calculating. He deliberately tells the truth when he tells the truth. He deliberately lies when he lies, unlike Achilles. In this way, Hippias defends Achilles from the charge that he's deliberately lying but he's escaped one trap only to fall into a much worse trap. Socrates springs the trap. A menon ar estin hos eoiken ho Odysseus Achilleos. So Odysseus, it seems, is better than Achilles. Hei kistage deipuo Socrates. Not in the least, Socrates. Tide, uk arti efane san hoi Hecontes, pseudominoi beltius ehoi acontes. What, didn't those willingly lying seem just now to be better than those unwillingly lying? And here's the second trap. If Hippias argues against this, he'll be arguing against himself. He is the expert in most fields, which means he is the one with ability. And as the one with ability, he can choose to tell the truth or to lie. Other people who do not have this ability, notice the heuristic uh, all or nothing, those who don't have this ability cannot choose when to lie or to tell the truth and actually lie uh, or tell the truth all the time. They may lie or tell the truth unwillingly. He, having ability, will always tell the truth or lie willingly. Now Hippias himself has shown that Achilles lied or didn't tell the truth unwillingly. He, he did not intend to lie. He always said what he thought was correct at any given moment. But over time... What he said at one moment, it would not be true at another moment. He didn't intend this, but if he didn't intend it, it means by the other argument, the one according to ability, Odysseus is better than Achilles, because Odysseus is always able to lie or to tell the truth 
whenever he wishes, as usual with no evidence. This is simply based on him being Polytropos. Hippias is now one step away from a complete refutation, so what is he going to do? Kai pos an o Socrates hoi hekontes adicuntes, kai hekontes epibuliusantes, kai kaka ergasamenoi, beltius an een ton akonton, hois pole doke sunc nome enai, he an me e dostis adicese e psusetai e alotica conpoiese. And how, Socrates, would those willingly committing injustice and those who have willingly schemed and have done bad things, how would they be better than those who did those things unwillingly, to whom it seems there is much indulgence if someone unknowingly committed some injustice or lied or did some other bad thing. Kai hoi nomui de pupolu halepo toroes in tois hecusi cacae gradzomenois, cae pseudomenois, etois acusin. And the laws as well are much harsher to those who do bad things willingly and lie than to those who do those things unwillingly. So what has Hippias done here? He has challenged the notion that someone who lies willingly is better than someone who lies unwillingly. And he's done this by opening up the whole idea of doing bad things, being unjust, and appealing to the opinion of the many, which is best exemplified by the laws themselves, which are made by the many. His argument is that we as individuals and we collectively, as exemplified by the laws, are more indulgent to people who make mistakes, who do bad things unintentionally, than criminals and people who lie intentionally. He's identified lying with injustice. He is the one who created the notion that lying is bad in this dialogue because he had to defend Achilles, who's not the Polytropos, from Odysseus, who is the Polytropos. And he decided that Polytropos would be lying in this case. And because Achilles has to be better than Odysseus, he made Achilles the truth-teller and better, and Odysseus the liar and the worse man. Therefore, lying became bad, and now he's equating lying with injustice altogether, because in the field of injustice, people are clearly more indulgent to those who commit injustice unwillingly. In this way, Hippias has escaped the double trap by moving the goalposts from one pitch to another one completely. We are now no longer talking about lying and telling the truth, but about doing the right thing and doing the wrong thing intentionally or unintentionally in any field whatsoever. Many people think that the argument has simply been opened up from a small example of doing the right thing, doing the wrong thing, to every example of doing the right thing or doing the wrong thing. The fact is that telling the truth and lying haven't actually been shown to be one good and one bad. In fact, Socrates was presenting both as good at one point, it's a, it's a completely different argument now. Well, I say different argument, but Hippias intended this to be his escape. He would throw this bombshell into the argument, the audience would agree with him, and they would think that Socrates has lost the argument because he is a bad man who thinks that doing injustice deliberately is better than 
simply making mistakes. Hippias has allowed the audience to equate lying with injustice. At this point, Hippias intended to stop the discussion. He's proved his point. He's won. I mean, at least he appears to have won, which is the same thing in Aristics. But Socrates carries on. Horas o hippia hotiego alethe lego, legon hos liparesemi prostas eroteses ton sophon. You see, Hippias, that I tell the truth when I say that I am persistent with regard to questionings of experts. Kai kindu niuo hen monen echen tuto agathon, tala echon panu faula, ton men garpagmaton he eche es falmai, kai uk oid hopeesti. And I happen to have just this one thing good, having the other things quite worthless. For of states of affairs, how they are, I am challenged, and I don't know how they are. Tecmerion demoi tutu hikanon, hoti epedan sun genomai to humon to nudokimunton episofia, kai hois hoi helenes pantes martureses ite sofias, Finomai uden edos. And this is sufficient evidence that whenever I meet one of you well reputed for expertise and whom all the Greeks are witnesses for your expertise, I seem to know nothing. Uden garmoi doketon auton kai humin hos epos epen. For the same things don't seem to me as they do to you, as it were. This isn't the passage which everyone translates as all I know is that I know nothing, but it's close, and it's worth noting how Socrates justifies his assumption that he's ignorant. He's saying that when he meets these so-called experts, he doesn't have the opinions that they have, but given that they are the experts, the ones who know, that would mean that he doesn't know. And what greater evidence for ignorance is there than whenever someone differs from expert men? Socrates could have just said experts, as he has been saying throughout the dialogue. So adding men is possibly a dig at Hippias equating himself with three Homeric heroes. We will have to carry on with Socrates next time and hope that he persuades Hippias to continue the conversation. <laughs> <laughs>